Yo, what is good, everybody? S Crypto 101 coming to you guys with another video today. And today we're talking about P Drip. We're talking about P Drip. P Drip is doing numbers right now. I talked about it five days ago, and I'm pretty sure it was sitting in the low teens, high teens. Now we're looking at a price of $54. Yes, I said that correctly. $54. It was at $60 earlier today. So it's definitely pumping up. And I think a lot of people are starting to see what's going on over here. And just more and more bullishness is coming into the community. The voice chat's always a great place to be as well. And we've had a lot of bullish sentiment in there as well. So super, super excited. We're going to talk about it today. We're going to be doing our first team airdrop for the bag builder team over here on PDRIP. And I'm also going to do an in-depth review of the garden i think a lot of people are sleeping on the garden right now and this is a really good passive income play in my opinion not financial advice but there's a lot of things built in to allow this to be sustainable and you are earning pulse which we already know the price potential of pulse so there's a lot of stuff we got to get in today let's go ahead and get straight into it but first make sure you stop what you're doing make sure you comment like subscribe hit that bell button so you're notified as soon as these videos come out so you know as soon as new content is released so Let's go ahead and get straight into it. First, we're going to take care of the team. team here. So we come over here to the team tab. We've got eight people on the team. So shout out to everyone who is on the Bag Builder team. I appreciate every single one of you. I know there's a lot of people creating content on this, but it really does make me feel good to see even eight people on the team. We'll grow it to 10, 15, 20. So if you want a good team, definitely come check out the Bag Builder team because we're always doing a lot of stuff here for the community, of course, and sending out airdrops. So we're using my airdrop. I'm going to send, I tried to have two, but when I claimed it was only 1.9, but I'm going to send it out regardless. A minimum net deposit it lets me have is 10. So if you don't have more than 10, it's not going to let me send it. So that means that each of the participants here are going to be getting 0.475 drip. So that's almost half a drip. So that is what, 20, that's almost like 20, 20 bucks just for an airdrop. So I, I really miss those days where you're sending just a small amount, but it's a big amount of money, a big bag. So we're gonna go ahead and approve this because this is the first time that I've done an airdrop. So I'm gonna have to go through and approve this. Usually I just do the max, that's what I have right now. And like I said, I appreciate everyone who joins the team. If you do want to join a team, make sure that you're very careful. If you haven't started a faucet yet, what you have to do with the first thing you should do when you get into P drip is come here to the team tab, copy and paste my address. You know, if you want to be on my team, but whoever's team that you want to be on, make sure that you copy and paste that here and then you update and change that because if you don't, it's going to default you to the dev wallet. And if you want to be on someone's specific team who's building a team, sending airdrops, things like that, you want to make sure that you get that updated correctly. So make sure you always do that. I've seen a lot of people in the community kind of get caught up with that. So make sure that you come here first, that you put the buddy address of the person that you want to join underneath. Put that there, update that first, and then start to make your deposits. Just a pro tip. So as you can see, everyone here, so we have four people, we're gonna be sending 1.9 P drip to. If you're one of the other people on the team, you just gotta get your bag up a little bit more so that you can get an airdrop because based on what I'm seeing, it's not even letting me get down to less than 10, which that means if you have less than 10, then I don't know how you have a faucet. So, hmm. I don't know exactly how that works, but if you have less than 10 at this point, get up to 10 at least so you can start building your bag because it doesn't, unless you're just holding it. But if you don't have 10, I, I don't know exactly what the strategy would be, but make sure you get 10 so that you can build your bag and start you know, earning some of that compound interest. And you can get a part of the airdrops because now these people are getting $20 a piece just for being on the team. So truly appreciate everyone who is on the team as always. We'll take a look at the dashboard over here while that works it out. Garden balance is up to, what is that, 700 million? So still very low, especially in Pulse. We know how, how high that number can get with all the decimals. We're seeing at a price of $54.48. Faucet counts now, now at 515. When I covered it last time, I think we we're in like the 400s, mid 400s. So a lot of new faucets being created. A lot of other YouTubers are making their accounts now. So hey, I tried to tell you guys, and I told you that the price was definitely gonna go up. As you can see, when we look over here on deck screener, this thing just went up. I thought it was a considerable jump from 26 up to 32, 
But then I woke up and it was like, boom, 38 all the way up to 60. And of course, some people started taking profit at this point, as you should, as I would have. And as I did, I did sell like a little bit here just because it's a top. I mean, that's a big jump. Anytime something jumps up this high, I think it's definitely okay to take profit because other people are going to as well. And it's going to cause a little bit of a correction as it needs to be. So that's that looking good. Who knows where this will be last time i said it was gonna be 50 dollars. here we are at 54. so i think as this gains more momentum and more visibility to the crypto community that this thing really has the potential to take off and this is one thing you have to look at too the circulating supply so the lower this gets the more price shock there's going to be because the lower circulating supply means that there is less in people's wallets and there's less on the market to be able to be bought so as this number gets closer and closer to, you know, three digits, sing, double digits, I mean, if it got to single digits, it'll be ridiculous. But just keep that in mind that as this number starts to go down, this number is going to go up. So let's talk about the garden, right? The garden. A lot of people haven't invested in the garden yet. So what I'm going to be doing today as well, I'm going to stake 5 million pulse in here so we can go ahead and get started with this because i would rather go ahead and get my bag in here let that start growing and then we can go on from there so i'm gonna go ahead and stake this as you can see five million pulse is going in with a daily roi of 1.5 percent once i lock this up i cannot pull it back out other than at the 1.5 percent rate so make sure you understand that the faucet it's locked up you cannot take your p drip out of the faucet other than the 1% you're getting every single day. And it's the same thing with the garden here. You only can take out your 1.5% whenever you're able to claim. So just make sure you understand it's locked in the contract. You can't, I can't take my 5 million out of here again, unless I'm getting it on my 1%. So it tells you all the stuff here, right? So this is the amount that's been staked. This is my awards that I'm already accruing. My daily ROI is 75,000 pulse. I deposited 5 million and I've compounded zero, claim zero. The cutoff is in one hour and 23 minutes. So I'm gonna explain all of this. So we're gonna go over here. And this is something that I have here that we're gonna be talking about specifically when it comes to the Pulse Garden. So the important things to understand is first, the taxes. So there is a 10% tax on deposits, which you guys just saw, 7% uh, to buy back P drip. That's bullish. Anything that is built in to buy back P drip means that money that's put into the garden is directly going to affect the price action of P drip in a positive way. That's great. 3% for referral rewards. So there is a referral link attached to the garden as well. So if you want to join my garden, you already have my wallet address. It's going to be in the description below, but there's a 3% tax that comes from deposits that pays out the rewards. If people do use your referral link, use mine. 10% on claims, so a 3% for buyback. So there's a buyback on claims and deposits, bullish. And then there is a 7% tax to the rewards pool. So that is the 7% of pulse that you're being taxed on there from the 10% that is going back to the reward pool to pay out that daily dividend. There is a 5% tax on compounds and all of that goes to reward pools. So that's a breakdown of the taxes just so you're not caught off guard and you understand how these taxes are built into the system to help support the protocol. You're earning 1.5% daily up to 300%. Now, the best thing I would recommend is don't do it off a of USDC value. Do it off of the amount of pulse that you staked. So I know that I staked 5 million pulse, so I should be expecting back 15 million you know take off some of the the percentages because of the tax but that is what it is it's going to 3x your pulse balance so if i put in 5 million i should be expecting right around 15 million pulse out of it when the it's all said and done so here are the rules you have to understand this because this is the things that people are not going to understand and they're not going to understand how to play the game so first you are allowed one claim and one comp compound every 24 hours. So if you notice on the screen, when we go back over here to P drip or the drip garden, it is telling me that I am cut off in one, one day, 23 hours, 56 minutes and 54 seconds. So that means that I cannot do any kind of action until 
or I can do an action until then, but you're only allowed one in that period. So I can't come in here and claim twice a day. I can't compound twice a day. Only can perform one action every 24 hours. Back over here. Every three compounds earns you one claim. They can be stacked. So you're not able just to come in here and claim out every single day. You have to compound at least three times to be able to gain one claim. So there's gonna be a lot of different strategies that are developed with this. I'm probably gonna go for a 15 day compound and then a three day claim is kind of what I'm thinking about. Um, so that's exactly how it works. For every three compounds you do, you gain one claim. So you have to compound for three days and then you can claim one day if you want to, and you can stack them. So you can compound for a whole month, so 30 days, and then you would have earned 10 claims. So you can stack them up how you want to, but that's how it works. You have a three compound to one claim ratio that's already established by the protocol. Rewards stop accumulating after 48 hours. So another bullish thing that's been put in here to make it sustainable because this means that people have to get involved into the system. You can't just put your money in here, you know, go take a three week vacation, come back and it's still printing for you. You have to come in here and you either have to compound or claim every 48 hours. So if you don't do anything within two days, it's going to stop accumulating for you. So it's a lot like the faucet. If you don't do anything for seven days, it stops accruing rewards. Same thing with a garden. If you don't do anything for two days, it stops accumulating your rewards. So make sure you understand that. Withdrawals decrease stake amount, but amount cannot go below the initial. So what this means is if you are compounding, this is going to constantly make this number go up. So if I get to the point where I've compounded my 5 million to 10 million and I do a claim, whatever I claim is going to be subtracted from this, but I can never claim enough to get it below 5 million because it won't let you get below whatever you staked in here initially. So if I put in 5 million, I can never go below 5 million. But if I compound up to, you know, seven to 10, once I do start claiming, it's going to take whatever I claim from this amount. So that's all that's telling you. So this is really just the basic rule. So make sure that you do go over this. Make sure you pause the video if you need to, to understand the taxes as well as the rules. And these are really things that are just built in there. First, the taxes are to make PDRIP even more bullish, to pay out the rewards. And the rules really just make it to where it's sustainable. People have to be active within the system. They can't just come in here, put their money away. It's going to constantly print and then drain the system. They have to perform positive actions. They have to make sure that they're active in the system and they can't just keep building on their amounts. It's going to start taking away as well if there's someone who starts claiming, which makes sense, but you can never go below, below your initial deposit, which is beneficial. So with that, hopefully that was informative for you. Hopefully, you know, if you have any kind of questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you could always come to the Telegram channel that we have created. That's the Bag Builders. It'll be in the description below. Come ask your questions. Continue to support the social media we have. We have X, we have TikTok, Instagram, all of that's going to be in the socials link below as well. And we're going to let this thing keep dripping. I mean, P-Drip is doing amazing. It's almost back up to $55. There's going to be a lot of price fluctuation over the next couple of days. We might see $100. We might see $50. We might see $25. We don't know. But if it does dip, I'm definitely going to be buying that dip. So like I said, if you want to join the team, the link will be down in the description below as well. It's going to be labeled P Drip Bag Builder Team. All you have to do is copy that, come here to the team tab, paste it, hit change, and now you're an official bag builder. With that, continue to support the channel as well. Comment, like, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell button so you're notified as soon as these videos are released. And with that, we're going to continue to let this P Drip team keep dripping, keep building, and we're gonna focus on what we do best, and that is building the bag.